Hey guys, today we are going to be doing some lip and arm swatches of some of the new Chanel nude lipsticks that have come out for uh, the fall winter collection and my order just came in so we're going to be opening this box up together. Um, I'm also going to leave the information of the sales associate that I placed my orders through. His name is Gio and he's in the Miami uh, beauty boutique of Chanel and he's just Wonderful. So I'm just going to leave his information down below in my description box if you're interested in getting in touch with him. But he's, you know, he's just great. He's so communicative. If there's anything that he can like pre-sell, he will. He always contacts me like the first day things are released. So I'm going to leave his info down below in the description box. So here is my beautifully packaged Chanel box. So lovely. And you put a little card in here. I think this is my receipt. It says thank you. Inside, oh my, um, I ordered... Uh, six of the new shades. I, I'll, if I can remember, I'll put up on the screen how many shades there are in total because there was actually a lot more than I thought. So I ordered six. And he's included some other goodies. So this is what is inside. We've got um, some mascara. He's even included a velvet lipstick sample. Ooh, in the shade 58. Ooh, that looks pretty. Uh, but let me just go ahead and take out all of these lipsticks. All right, so these are the Rouge Allure Luminous Intense Lip Colors. It comes in box packaging like this, very typical, very beautiful. And this is the lipstick that um, you like press down. So here is the packaging and you press this down and it pops up and that is the lipstick. All right, so let me go ahead and get these all unboxed and then we will do some uh, swatches. Okay, first, let me just do a whole arm swatch situation here, and I'm just gonna swatch them in number order. They're not necessarily from lightest to darkest. So, from left to right, we have 195, then we have 199, 206, 209, 214, and then 215. So they do all have names associated to them, but <laughs> most of them, or some of them I should say, are in French, so I'm not even gonna bother. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some lip swatches now. I'm gonna start with shade number 195, and here is a close look at this bullet here. It does have Chanel engraved on the front, and I don't smell any fragrance, which is actually kind of surprising. I feel like most everything of Chanel's has uh, fragrance. All right, 195. So here is shade 195, really beautiful nude with a hint of peach in there. So this one leaves a little bit warm. And if you're curious as to what other makeup I have on my face, I will list that all down below in my description box as well. It's pretty much all Chanel products. So anyway, I thought that would be nice in keeping with this video. So next we've got 199, and that's what that looks like in the tube. All right, there is 199. Wow, what a gorgeous, like, fall, deep fall kind of shade. So, so pretty. This is actually a pretty neutral, deep nude kind of shade. There isn't too much red in there. There also isn't too much um, brown. There's almost like a little bit of like a pink to it, which I think is what is kind of keeping it neutral. I am so excited for all of these like nude collections, nude lip collections that are coming out like Armani just extended their lip power range uh, with nudes, this whole nude collection um, from Chanel, and then um, what's that Lisa Eldridge shade that I'm obsessed with? Meet Me meet me in Berlin, that one. Oh my God, that's such a beautiful nude shade as well. All right, next we've got shade number 206. Here is 206. This shade compared to the first shade, 195, that I tried on, I thought that they looked really, really similar and I wasn't sure if I was gonna get both. Anyway, I obviously ended up getting both. This one is a little bit lighter than 195. It also is a teensy bit warmer than 195. So this one has, at least for my skin tone, it has like a little bit more of like a concealer lip kind of look to it. Like this would look really great with a really kind of deep smoky eye, like you'd end up with kind of like a mod sort of look. Um, but if, yeah, if you're looking for something like definitely on the paler side, I would go for this one, which is 206. 
And I'm sitting here talking, kind of assuming that you guys are familiar with this Rouge Allure formula from Chanel. It is like just one of their like standard lipsticks. It's their like cream lipstick. It is very highly pigmented. It is very, very creamy. It is super comfortable on the lips. I think they're really easy to apply. I actually really, really love this formula from Chanel. They are what you would consider just a straight up cream lipstick. So I would not say that they have any sort of like um, higher longevity or anything like that. Like they will wear away after you have a meal or take a few sips uh, of coffee or anything like that. Um, so they're not like long lasting or anything, but they are very, very highly pigmented. So I don't feel like you have to go back and forth too much. It's just kind of like a one, two swipe situation and just a really great, like solid cream lipstick. All right, next we've got 209. Ooh, this is really beautiful. Like a very your lips, but better. Okay, there is 209. Very pretty. This um, actually kind of reminds me of the second one that I uh, swatched, 199, but this one is just a teensy bit warmer. I find the undertone to be a little peachier versus pink versus that one. This one also is not quite as deep as that one. Uh, this one I think is a little bit more kind of like everyday, office appropriate, your lips but better kind of a shade. Very, very pretty. All right, next we've got number 214. Wow, this is really deep. Yes, oof, so dramatic. This shade has a little bit of a gold sparkle to it. Oh, that's very pretty. And this is such a gorgeous, like neutral kind of shade again, because it's not too purpley a lot of these deeper shades they kind of end up looking kind of like plum or like wine stained on your lips this one is keeping pretty true i mean there's a little bit of a pink purpley undertone but it's not too much very pretty i have to exfoliate my lips sorry about that <laughs> but hopefully you get a good idea of what this shade looks like on the lips oh i really like that little gold gold fleck that I see in there. I don't think I see anything like that in the other shades. Yeah, all the other shades are just like a solid cream color, but this one has like a little bit of gold in there. All right, and last but not least, shade number 215. This is another deep shade that looks amazing in the swatch pictures that Gio sent me. Okay, wow, there is 215. So this one is a bit deeper than the previous one, 214 that I just swatched. And same, hmm, I'm trying to think, is this as neutral as that one? I would say so. I don't see it leaning either too red, too orange, or too blue. I don't really see that much of like a plum going on. I really have to exfoliate my lips though. Anyway, <laughs> again, I hope this gives you a good enough idea of what this color looks like. Oh, such a great fall winter shade. All right, I'm gonna take this off and actually apply that first shade that I put on because I have to exfoliate my lips. If I'm gonna wear a deep color, I have to exfoliate my lips first. Otherwise, it just kind of really emphasizes all the dry skin <laughs> on my lips. All right. There is shade 195 back on. All right, yes, I don't think you see all the dry skin on my lips, at least not as much as the uh, deeper shades. Anyway, those are the six colors that I purchased. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comment section, and definitely check out my description box. I have Geo's information down there. I have information on all the other makeup that I am wearing, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you in my next video.